Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Hobo here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new WWE 2K18 screenshots just released earlier this week by Lino Jinx and the dev team. I am absolutely over the moon with the way this game looks. It looks unbelievable. Let's start off here with probably uh, the most overwhelming picture the crowd the way that they look in this game is so much better than in past years if you guys have been playing the WWE games for as long as I have my entire life they've gone from looking like cardboard like actual 2d cardboard models to these fully fleshed out 3d models with unique faces when I look in this crowd I don't see a duplicate face for the entirety that you can see in this crowd and that is absolutely amazing 2K has done an excellent job making the crowd this year. They look like people who would actually attend WWE events. You've got people wearing some of the, uh, the the superstar shirts. You've got people wearing regular, normal people clothes. And it's just a perfect balance. And, of course, you see the barricade, uh, the new ones that they're using uh, ever since they switched, uh, they, they switched up the arena set with the brand split last year. And it has the proper color too. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just in that middle area. Nice gray color. And a lot of shine on the top. Let's take a look at the next screenshot here. We have the top of the raw entrance stage. You can see the LED panels on the, on the stage itself showing Brock Lesnar's entrance. Which is really badass. Uh, you can see the ring out in the background. The first thing you'll probably notice is that that is an apron and not an LED side. Uh, even though in the actual Raw arenas now, they have the the hard camera side has a LED board. And the side going towards the, the ramp has an LED board. But that's just a minor thing. You can see the, uh, the LED boards around the... Top of the arena, show the Raw logo with a really elongated looking WWE logo. That's kind of weird. Uh, you can see the crowd. The lighting just looks unbelievable. You can see the, the hard camera side and the side opposite the hard camera are very well lit. And then you can see the back of the arena and towards the top are very dimly lit. And that just looks amazing. And of course, the spotlight's right in front of your face. They're right there, shining. They have a great lens flare to them. They look unbelievable in this game. Next screenshot we have is the base of the Raw stage. You can see they've done an amazing job with the way the set looks. Of course, it, it is blurry, so you can't get the full feel of it. But you can see that it does look unbelievable. And if you look kind of towards the right side, you'll notice there is what looks to be a sign of AJ Styles. Nothing new. Of course, we all know he's going to be in the game, but just something I picked up on in this screenshot here. Of course, I took all these screenshots myself, didn't get them from anybody, so I can claim full responsibility for everything that I found. Uh, the steel grating at the bottom of the ramp looks really, really, really good with the way the light hits it and the light from the stage hits it. You can see the LED ramp looks really cool with the, with the shading and the way it just kind of blends into the grating, uh, the steel grating. Just looks really crazy. Next screenshot we have is a picture of the ringside steel stairs. This is a really cool shot to me. I love the way uh, that it all looks. The stairs look really properly shaded. They, they do look a little bit dark. A little bit too dark almost in certain spots. Of course the creases where uh, each stair meets are very dark. And at the bottom is very dark. Maybe they can uh, fix that a little bit. You can see they have LED ring posts, which look really good. Uh, the, the floor looks spot on to what you see every Monday night. The ring apron looks really good. All in all, this is just a really good screenshot, a really good showcase for the new lighting engine that they have in the game. Next up, we're going to take a look at this screenshot of Brock Lesnar wielding the WWE Universal Championship. Now, I've seen some mixed reactions to the way the belt looks in the game. I, I do admit... The belt is very, very, very dark in some areas, like where uh, the plate meets the strap itself can get very dark. I do like the way the gold looks, however. It looks very natural, and it looks 
all, well, it doesn't look a lot like what you see on TV because what you see on TV is a lot brighter than that. But the way the shading in the game looks, looks, it looks really perfect, <laughs> to be completely honest. The jewels look nice. They do just look like photos, though, not like an actual in-game uh, jewel that has light that can reflect around it uh, accordingly. Of course, you got the Universal Champion uh, bottom portion of it. You can see Brock Lesnar looks beefy as always. This is an incredible screenshot. And then we're going to move on to the very last one, as you guys can see. An unbelievable looking John Cena. Now, I've said since 2K15 that John Cena has always looked a little bit off to me. And this screenshot of John Cena just completely blew me away. As a light, or as a... As a long-time John Cena fan, as a lifelong John Cena fan, this is the pinnacle of John Cena in a WWE game. It looks spot on. However, if I did have one gripe about it, I think it would be uh, the tip of the nose. I think it looks just a little bit too big. But other than that, it looks so crazy. They finally got his hair right. You can see the definition of his uh, of his body is insane. Uh, you can see his unique vein on the left-hand side of his body. It looks very well lit. The shading looks really crazy. You can see his Never Give Up band. Of course, I think they could do a better job with the Cena wristbands and armband. But, you know, it's still a video game. There are limitations. And uh, you, you can kind of tell in the background where you see the WWE logo really faded. There is kind of a blue around it. So I would have to guess that this screenshot was taken... At a smack or at the SmackDown Arena, which of course we see in the Randy Orton portion of uh, the Randy Orton entrance portion of this uh, release, where these screenshots came from, which I might show if you guys see it, you'll know that I put it in. Uh, but yeah, this screenshot of John Cena is unbelievable. You see the sweat streaking down his face. Looks like he's just seen a ghost. He's very very pale in the forehead, but all in all, this is an unbelievable. Looking John Cena. And this game just looks fantastic. I can't believe it. I'm so excited for the game to launch. So excited to get my hands on it. So excited to play it. And I know a lot of people are criticizing 2K for not releasing gameplay. And they're saying, oh, they're releasing all these screenshots because the gameplay is going to lack. And I don't believe that. I think they're releasing the screenshots to let, you, to let us know as a community that we're going to be getting the most photorealistic WWE game of all time. And on top of that, the gameplay will be there and it will be strong and it will be probably the best WWE game ever made. And I know a lot of people have soft spots for Here Comes the Pain, but I'm a stickler for realism in the fact that we're being able to finally see these photorealistic versions of our favorite WWE superstars, arenas, championships, and just uh, everything about the WWE Universe finally coming to life. It's just insane. And I can't get enough of it. I cannot wait for this game to launch. I can't tell you guys that enough. This is going to be incredible. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Me breaking down these brand new screenshots for WWE 2K18. If you guys have anything else you would like me to cover about 2K18. Uh, NBA 2K18. WWE 2K18 of course. Or Madden NFL 18, which does launch in nine days. Uh, and I'm super excited for that, by the way. Yeah, if you guys any, uh, have any requests for me, leave them down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, hit that like button. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button, because that's the number one way to help out the channel. So thank you all for watching. It's going to do it for me, your boy Hubbo. And I'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video. I have voices in my head. They count for me. Damn, they talk to me